Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Jones, and before today, I'll be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 5. If you guys are not aware yet, of course, Treyarch is the next one up on 9 for the next Call of Duty, which is sad, really. I mean, it's only, like, what, like, what two years to, like, do this game? It's pretty crazy. To be honest, like, I, be I believe the details of this game is going to be a little bit lower than compared to any other Call of Duty out there, so it's going to be very complicated to see how this game is going to even be because two year cycle man that game is going to really uh i mean i don't i don't wish the worst of it i mean i just i don't know how they're going to do it in two years they always had a three year cycle so um as far as i know people i'm not sure if they enjoy black ops 4 at all i mean i, I think it's a neutral stance with everyone people like specialists people didn't like specialists and you know the mo's the battle royale thing i mean it's it's just the biggest question in, in the air right now like what what's going to go on with black ops 5 so um more than likely seeing that they want to keep it special i'm pretty sure they're going to keep on bringing back the specialist um unless it was the biggest complaint of the game of last year but for sure the biggest complaint of last year was the battle pass being too grindy and you know the dlc and season passes i mean it, it was just a lot of things that that was not worth, you know. So now that Modern Warfare did this thing where there's no more DLC or season pass and they introduced the battle pass, I wonder if Black Ops 4 is going to, I mean, Black Ops 4, Black Ops 5 is going to do the same thing. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to release a lot of the content. Because, you know, Activision has been very stingy with Black Ops. Not always has everything been for free. Well, maybe Black Ops 1, but you know the cosmetics and the specialists and the dances and you know i'm talking about the emotes by the way or the spray cans or whatever you know whatever they they're gonna do i'm hoping everything's earned through a battle pass or something at least it's a lot it's a lot cheaper than spending 40 to 50 bucks for dlc maps that don't even they aren't even good i mean have you guys seen the black ops 4 dlc maps they're freaking terrible i don't know who decided to design like a big ass map with a boat in the middle you know, with a big-ass wall in the middle, and then call it a map in a 5v5 game. <laughs> like, it's insane. I don't know, man. Who came up with that idea? Like, it's so stupid. So, uh, I'm glad they got rid of that, you know, the season pass thing. But the question is, I'm hoping, you know, everything goes well. I'm just hoping everything goes well, man. Because Black Ops has always been the, you know, the prime for me. It's always been the number one game for me over modern warfare i mean you guys have seen it over the years black ops i've always been you know doing something crazy all the damn time so um it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna introduce the new system of the battle pass it really is what they're gonna give out i mean they already did the battle pass before but grindy as hell but let's see how they do it this year you know now that they kind of removed the supply drops and all that stuff i'll be shocked if they actually did bring back the freaking supply drops and all that stuff i'll be like, like, like man really do you want to get in trouble that bad already <laughs> do you want to earn money that bad like come on man just give us like honest work so um so yeah guys what do you guys think about this whole situation how do you think black ops 5 is going to turn out to be it's going to be a disaster because it only has a two-year cycle or is it going to be like a masterpiece in some kind of way because <laughs> even i don't believe it myself like i don't think they're gonna create a masterpiece but it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna pull it off man to your cycle and how much detail they're gonna be putting in the game i mean usually the first year is just like you know organizing the planning and all that stuff and and then you get to, into designing and like after on the second year and then the third year of course is the gameplay product so i don't know man it's gonna be interesting to see how this is gonna turn out so um more than likely what i want is that i'm hoping there's like two different modes like normal mode will be like without the specialist you know powers and all that stuff and then the freaking you know specialist modes like specialist not specialist like that will be interesting to see but of course more than likely gonna divide it again like like in league play you know more than likely gonna keep it like that so it's gonna be interesting to see to see some of that so at least there will be some kind of like non-sbmm going on over there because you know they have league play i'm surprised modern warfare does not have league play right now so why you know and also one of the things that i do not want in black ops 5 the maps i'm hoping they're not horrible bro jesus because this year really made me think that i should just move on from modern warfare because the maps were terrible dude piccadilly i haven't seen that map like in two months already so that is it guys i want to talk about today black ops 5 just a little bit of a topic 
what is your opinion about this whole situation of a two-year cycle? Let me know in the comment section. So that is it, guys. I'll see you guys later.